Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm back with another tutorial. This tutorial is on VirtualBox. And what is VirtualBox? It is a software, it's an open source uh, software where you can install uh, multiple operating systems like virtual operating systems. And then you can operate on it and you can do whatever you want. So uh, it's like a virtual machine. So if you want to install VirtualBox, you just have to visit virtualbox.org and click on downloads and then you can download like if you are using Windows operating system you can use this Linux OS X Intel Mac whatever and if you want to learn how to install VirtualBox and install operating system on VirtualBox you better search YouTube for that because there are a lot of tutorials out there and this tutorial is uh, well to learn how to share files like uh, to enable file sharing abilities between a host operating system and a guest operating system let's say right now I'm using Ubuntu so the host operating system is Ubuntu and the guest operating system is Windows XP right so uh, first of all please go out there and search and learn how to install operating systems and after that you can just do this and check this tutorial so we'll be using this right so after installing uh, VirtualBox okay after doing everything you just start your uh, VM that is the virtual machine and when you load up your operating system this is, check this out this is my Windows XP on Ubuntu right so when you have your Windows XP and if you want to uh, that is enable file sharing you click on this icon yeah this icon over here or or you can click on devices and uh, the first thing that you gotta do is install guest editions. Now, what is this guest editions? This is just another ISO file, which uh, which will uh, which the Windows XP will automatically mount, and then you can go to my computer and click on this, or just double click on this, or choose autoplay. And when you do autoplay, you just, you know go to the uh, standard procedure. Just click next, 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 and you just install the. Uh, install this particular software and then you reboot the system okay when you reboot the system that is when you restart the system click on my computer okay first thing first you click on devices and click uh, shared folders right and then let's add a folder that you want to share so I've already done that I'll just edit it okay I'll just uh, edit the selected shared folder how to add it just click on this like this right and you click on this and click other and you uh, specify the path that you want to share anyways uh, here I'll just edit it is the home slash tru 3m0 sl 3m right which is true Muslim anyways so you specify the folder path and you specify the folder name and don't click read only if you, okay click read only if you just want to read only the file right <laughs> anyways click on make permanent and click OK OK and now we click on my computer map network device uh, drive yeah map network drive then uh, let's okay let's choose drive Z as the share as a, as a drive that we are going to share the files right so click on drive Z and then click on this you, you just type this uh, slash slash then vbox svr slash I don't know what you call it it's backslash or the slash normal slash vbox svr slash the folder name that I use it tru 3 m 0 sle 3m and then you click on finish and choose reconnect at logon right I've already done that on uh, like X drive X I won't be doing uh, repeating the same procedure so when you when you're done with that just click on my computer and you see we have the drive over here click okay just open and voila we have uh, like we are sharing the file from Ubuntu Linux that Ubuntu Linux or whatever you call it uh, to your Windows XP which is the virtual which is a virtual OS that we have installed on our, in our system right okay that's it uh, so if you like the video just like rep it or rate it comment it do whatever you want and wait for my coming up tutorials next time inshallah I'll be showing how to connect USB drives like how to connect how to enable USB drives on virtual OS on your virtual or the host OS 
see like because normally there's some sort of bug that w that uh, that will gray this and uh, in the next tutorial I'll show you how to install that right okay uh, Walaikum Assalam um, bye bye take care oops just have to